Finally, man, we got some on the front of the Accord. Oh my God, bro, it looks so fucking gas. I love the way this thing looks. So, um, if you can't tell, if you're blind, um, I have a front lip on the car now. Um, so this is the Akasaka, I believe is how you pronounce it. Front lip for the pre-facelift uh, 2018 to 2020 um, Accords. And honestly, in my opinion, this is the best looking lip that you can get for the pre-facelift Accords. I don't think there's, I think it looks better than the ACR. It looks better, or yeah, it looks better than the ACR. It definitely looks better than the Yofer, and it looks better than all of the, you know, generic eBay ones that you can get for this car. It looks so fire, and I love the way it, it like, it just looks so good on the car. Um, <clears throat> so why did I go with this one? Um, honestly, it's the most OEM plus looking one. It adds just that little bit more, a bit of aggression without being like ricey you know what i mean um it's honestly it's just it's it just looks so good it flows so good with the stock bumper honestly i really like the way these cars look stock um but of course you know you're gonna want a lip on there um you know but it just adds to the factory bottom lines it's honestly that's kind of like the direction i'm going with this car you know kind of like oem plus style like i was looking at the acr lip because i although you know this one does flow with the oem style and that's the style i'm going for the acr lip it actually looks really good in person compared to like in pictures um at first i didn't like the little side piece um on you know whatever little like flare it has but um honestly it kind of grew on me once i saw it in person but um and then also too i feel like the side of the acr lip like right here that section right there it's just a little bit better um i honestly still even now i'm not too crazy about how um like boxy it is on the side but um now that i'm seeing it in person that's on my car i think once i put spacers on the car and um or you know get wheels i think it's gonna fill out a little bit more and then also too um when i get side skirts and then the diffuser spots um i think it's just gonna flow so well um with the re just the rest of the body kit um that i want to put on the car um, I definitely want to get the wing next, but that's, we're not talking about that in this video. But then the install was kind of hard because one, um, it's just hard to film like by myself. And then two, um, I kind of had to figure out how to do it myself. Um, and I mounted it my own way. Um, I mounted it, <clears throat> I mounted it like with, so, okay. So these side pieces right here, um, it comes with 3M tape that runs basically along this line and then all the way down to the front right there, right? Um, but what I did was I added my own 3M tape, or not 3M tape, but double-sided tape. I put one strip right here, right here, and right here. Um, and then I put another one like all the way down here, like underneath the one that it comes with. And then <clears throat> uh, the lip also comes with little like holes at the bottom that you can put the OEM clips that go into the bumper. Um, on like basically put it through this and then it's huddling with the clips and the bumper But I didn't do that um, Because for some reason, I don't know if it's just this lip if it's mine or if it's all of them But the clips don't line up. So what I did was I put self tap I've got my own self tops and I drilled them into the bumper So this is drilled into the bumper and it's solid like you can see it's not going anywhere And then this bottom piece is attached to this and then I put another self top that's going through this and then into the bumper So it's just not going anywhere um, obviously, I did that same thing on the both sides, and then it's actually a five-piece lip. So you got one piece, two piece. It's the same thing on the other side, and then so that's four, and then you got this middle piece, which is uh, the fifth piece. Um, and then this is just three self taps, all the on these three little things right here. So um, it's on there solid. Um, honestly, that's really just the biggest because I kind of just had to figure it out. And I, again, I was rushing because I was I was a bit working when I did it. So. I had to like you know rush and do it so I can get back to work and you know um, just figuring out figuring out how to do it and you know I was doing it like at my house so um, yeah um, honestly I'm happy with the way it's mounted because you know I don't really think it's gonna come off um, eventually I may uh, take out the self tops in the middle um, and mount it with like you know like a nut and a bolt 
Oh, so like it really won't go anywhere because I, I I just have a feeling right now like with the just the self taps like if it does if I do hit it and it comes off like it might just rip holes in the bumper and that's what I was trying to avoid. So um, I'm definitely gonna definitely gonna mount it with the, the 10 mil or you know like a nut and a bolt. Um, <clears throat> but for now it's good. Um, the car's really not that well right now, anyways. Um, but uh, yeah. Um, I'll leave the link to the, the where I got it from. Um, <clears throat> I think it was like $160, like even to my door. Um, so yeah. Um, so one of the common things that like I saw with this lip is um, I when I got this car, like all of the information, like all like the body kits and stuff, I saw them on X Gen Auto. I'm sure if you have a 10th Gen Accord, you know what X Gen Auto is. Um, but I actually got this off of eBay with it came painted and everything um, and it was like I think on e, on X Gen Auto it was like 225 and like I said I got this for 160 it was listed for 150 so um, I'll definitely put that link down there save money where you can yeah man that's pretty much gonna be it I'm gonna hit y'all with some cinematics and uh, yeah I hope y'all enjoyed. I just want to show you the lip